I've worked for WF for 20 years. Um, in started in the UK 20 years ago and I've worked in Fiji, Switzerland, China and now back home in Australia for the last eight years. Um, I'm very passionate about sustainable development um, in creating a fair and equitable world um, but I'm also very passionate about the role of emerging technologies in delivering on some of those big challenges uh, working through innovative partnerships. Well, one of the successful ventures that we've been developing out of Panda Labs uh, fo focused on the use of blockchain um, in supply chains and sustainability in supply chains. And WWF has been working for nearly 30 years on traceability on, and looking at sustainability in supply chains. And so our knowledge of working in more than 100 countries with probably more than 1,000 companies involved in the supply chain means that we've got a really deep understanding about that um, traceability. But we, we saw enormous potential in blockchain to come in and to improve. Uh, and so we wanted to test and to validate whether that theory was right. And so over the last year and a half, as we've explored the potential of blockchain, um, we really focused over the next, you know, how over the next three to four years, really, blockchain will start to evolve and develop and the potential of blockchain in improving the sustainability and supply chains, but also the potential of coupling blockchain with other technologies like AI, which actually may really uh, disrupt and transform the way that supply chains are, are monitored, evaluated and audited. So we wanted to test about how blockchain could help improve supply chain traceability. And, and so we piloted a project in, in the Pacific, in Fiji, where we'd worked with a company called Sequest, a, a tuna fishing company, uh, to see if we could attach uh, the tuna coming on, across on, uh, onto a boat uh, using an RFID tag, a radio frequency ID tag, and to follow that, attach that to a blockchain and follow that through the whole system. And so having a distributed ledger there and being able to produce a digital twin which is immutable, so you can't have uh, two tuners the same attached to a thing, really would improve uh, illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing practices. But we also wanted to test could it help uh, reduce or uh, remove slave labour or human rights abuses as well. Um, and so that was part of our pilot in 2017 uh, to see if it would really work. First of all, we've been able to prove that you can attach a, a tuner as it comes on board a boat uh, using an RFID, a radio frequency device, and then to follow it along the supply chain. Originally, we tested this from the boat through to uh, it being transported uh, overseas from Fiji. But the second phase then looked at how we followed it through the rest of the supply chain until uh, it is served up. And so we were able at a conference in April this year to have uh, sashimi tuna served to the conference with a little QR code which uh, the participants of the conference could follow exactly back down the blockchain as to where their, their tuna came from. Um, so there's been some there's been some success in doing but I think the learnings of that have been really important for us because um, the blockchain piece is uh, one part of the solution but being able to attach information to that blockchain has been uh, quite tricky. So you're on a boat in the middle of the Pacific, the boat is all steel, it's covered in salt water. Uh, using technology in that environment is actually not easy. And so working through solutions that work with fishermen in very remote, remote locations was part of the, the validation sprint to prove that it could be done. And so there's a lot of learning that went on there that we're able to, to build on thinking about how we would be able to take something like this to scale. If we apply that back to consumers who go into their supermarket retail, being able to apply the same type of technology using a blockchain would allow mum or dad to, to see whether it was the, the tuna they brought or fish or beef or any other product, be able to tell straight away where that came from, who was the farmer, when was it caught, uh, how was that moved along the supply chain. Uh, would transform the way that consumers understand where their food comes from. So as well as for benefits for the consumers, there's also benefits for the producers, both in terms of being able to improve the economic return they get um, 
by increasing the transparency down the supply chain for those producers, um, but also to reward, but also um, stop unsustainable practices. And so uh, whether that's uh, stopping uh, human rights abuses or slave labor or ensuring um, the workplace practices are appropriate, we see enormous potential with blockchain and other technologies over the next you know, two to three years to really um, improve dramatically how a, a number of those products are produced and improve the lives of those producers around the world.